man, an artist, a craftsman, very conscious of his surroundings, a landscape artist mostly at that time. So he taught me to observe nature, to see the beauty of what was in front of me. Nothing elaborate, just the hedges, the trees, the grass. To notice the sky. And these two lessons of 100% giving attention and observing what was around me have stood me in good stead all my life. Well, what I got from Mum was primarily a Russian heart. And Russian hearts, they just spill out all over the place. I was always told as a child, I wear my heart on my sleeve. Well, people laughed at me, but it's one of the best things to have a great heart and to live that. Companions were nature and animals. And I was suddenly thrown into this world of other little boys and I was completely lost. And for the first time in my life I knew what it was to feel isolated and lonely. And God the school was in a world of settings and big gardens where I could go. And, uh, and also, in my little childish way, I remember so well just burying my little head in my hand and closing my eyes and saying, God bless Mummy and Daddy and my sister and our dog. And what a haven of, a haven of home and security that was. Or if not inside, at least to stillness and quietness. And in nature, it's outside. Look at the tree, put your arms around the tree and you're held in and still keep it quiet. It's in a reassuring of just simply being itself. But what a contrast it is to the noise. I'd never felt before. Just total peace in which all the threats that surrounded us were contained. <laughs> 